Drew Banks on point. I'm here with Sherman Hamilton, broadcaster for the Toronto Raptors. How are you, Sherman? I'm great, Drew. Great to be here. Now, I mean, when you really first heard about this game, you know, Coach Rana doing a tremendous job with Team Canada and everything like that. When you heard they were going to play Wake Forest, what would you say, what do you think in your mind? Well, I love it. I, you know, I really think that there's a misconception out there that Canadian universities can't play with some of these D1 schools. It's not that far away, and I think that's important. We need to get more appreciation for the basketball in this country so that we don't have problems when kids go to the States. We understand why they do it, but if you stay here, there's an opportunity to play quality basketball. So I think this event has been great. Roy has done a great job building this program, and you know the fact that they're getting this kind of pl place to play in, I think it just tells you that where this program can go in the future as long as it continues to build. And you know Roy's a grinder. He's going to go after it. I'm a city guy, I've been here my whole life and when, when this opportunity came up it was just an extension of my kind of history in, in, in Toronto basketball. I, I, you know, I, I've had a lot of players, former players of mine at Eastern play at Ryerson, its location downtown. I thought it was an incredible opportunity to try and build something special. I, I think it's, uh, you know, like I said when I took the job, a little bit of a jewel in the crown of the city and, and I wanted to put my own mark on it. For me it's a new environment coming here in Toronto. It's different for me coming from Montreal. Uh, I love it here. Guys are like my family here. Like it's my family away from home. It's a great opportunity for me to coming coming here, just because when I came here, Rana was the second year coaching. The program was not where it is right now, so I had the chance to grow up with the program. He recruited me. I just had lunch with him. I really like his personality and the assistant coach, and I really felt comfortable with him. So that's why I chose to come to Ryerson. The talent that we're developing at all levels is really improving. We're seeing that with the highest level of guys in the NBA and in the NCAA, and we're also seeing that in the CIS. I mean, we've got some pretty talented guys here in our league, and our league just continues to get tougher, and I think that's a testament to what coaches are doing at the youth level. So the depth of talent's really improving, and we're seeing that in the CIS. If the reality is that they're, you know, it, it seems like the CIS is, is what's, what their option is, then I want to paint a great picture for them in the CIS. I want them to understand that they can get a NCAA experience right here in the city of Toronto at Ryerson. So that's really been, it's really been more about what we can provide as opposed to trying to convince them that we can compete with some of their, you know, some of the other options that they, they may aspire to. I mean, we can't compete with a high major, mid-major experience right now, but certainly we can provide a special one within the city and within the CIS. I mean, it's certainly got to be a confidence builder when you know you can step on the floor against an ACT, ACC team and compete, both individually for players, but also for us as a team. And, th and then at times, you know, you're going to take a, a little bit of a beating in some places, and it just reminds you the reality of, of how hard we have to work and, and how much more we have to grow. It's been part of my vision. It's been part of, you know, what I want to be able to give our student athletes, that type of experience. You know, we've had Baylor here. We've had Tulsa here, now we've had Wake Forest here, we've been on the road at Stanford, we've been on the road at Detroit, Santa Clara, Rota. so we're going to continue to play those games. I mean, that's going to be a big, big piece of our build in this program and, and what we want to do for the basketball community in Toronto. You know, Jamal Jones is, is really the engine of our team now. He's become um, you know, a critical piece in our build. You know, obviously one of the best uh, guards in the country now. Um, you know, and, and on top of his talent and his natural ability to drive us to success on the court, his leadership skills are really becoming important and he's improved immensely in that area. Uh, you know, he's a guy who not only leads by example, but he's starting to become that personality that you want in a point guard, an extension of what we're trying to do on the court. Uh, I'm, I'm really, really pleased with how he's developed as a person, as a basketball player, and as a student. He's now, you know, a... a, a, a uh, you know, his, his GPA's gone just skyrocketed over his first three years here, so he, he's doing all the right things. 
Aaron's always been kind of that athlete. Everybody thought of Aaron as an athlete. And, you know, he's just come in and put in so much work. Aaron Best is one of the hardest working guys I've ever been around. And he's working on his game. He's improved his shot. He's improved his feel, his handle. You know, he, he's still a young player. He's still got a long way to grow. But he, he's, he's doing all the right things in approaching it. And uh, he himself is starting to take on more of a leadership role. You know, and obviously his, he's starting to mature and his personality and the way he interacts with his teammates is getting better. Just two really positive guys, uh, great role models for our program and see nothing but great things for them in the future. make tonight a memorable night right? and we're one half away right? two point lead on an ACC team in our building I, I think you know you can erase any type of fear I mean this is our game I think you gotta feel it right crowds behind us the whole you know we're on our own floor they're a little bit shook they're going in the locker room right now thinking okay you know what they're throwing multiple defenses at us this is what they're concentrating a lot on how to beat us that's where their focus is right now. How do we beat them? Because they're worried about us switching. Right? Let's just be disciplined what we have to do for the rest of the way, and I think we're good. The fourth quarter, you close them out. That's what you gotta do. You gotta close games in the fourth. You win games in the third, you close games in the fourth. Let's go. Let's do it. 20 minutes to work. 20 minutes to work. Work on three. One, two, three. Banks with on point. I'm here with Jamal Jones. How are you, Jamal? I'm feeling a little bit having mixed emotions right now. The loss, but yet again, we played well as a team, and a lot of people came to watch us, so it's a good feeling too. You opened up a lot of eyes today. I mean, a fantastic crowd. Great to see what's happening with Ryerson basketball. Uh, a lot of people see now the caliber of, of player you are. Talk about your strengths out there on the court and what you saw today. I guess in my position as a point guard, I really think of it as a position to express yourself. So since I like to attack mentality and I'm very quick, I just use that to my advantage. And I guess my playmaking is getting a lot better because my teammates feed off me, especially someone like Aaron that just is just like me in the transition. Give us a breakdown. Tremendous event uh, tonight. Uh, the hard work you've put into it, the hard work the school has put into it, you must be very proud. Yeah, you know what, I, I, I've been telling everybody it's, it's really been uh, about giving back and uh, I thought we did some special things for the city and for the CIS and you know the high school game we had the, the, the mega hoops clinic we had the coaches clinic so you know, we had an opportunity to kind of serve a lot of our communities and then give them a, a good product on the floor to end the night. I know you wanted the victory of course uh, defeat we never uh, agree with that when we're playing basketball or playing any sport but what lessons do you think the team learned? Well, you know, I, I said down the stretch, we got a lot of great opportunities to execute under pressure, make some adjustments to try to come back, defensive tweaks, and, you know, they went on a run, we never folded. So for us, really, it's, it's all about preparation for our season, and we're getting really quality games and quality situations to get better in. You stay, stay darling, you make me.